everybody welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a tutorial on how I straighten my hair as you can see it is kind of like crinkly right now um, it's a week old I haven't done it since last Sunday so last Sunday I washed it blow dried it and straightened it and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today let me know if you want to see how I get my hair like this. It's usually a little bit bigger because I do it a different way. The first thing I do when I'm going to straighten my hair is I wash it. So I wash my hair with shampoo. This is Pantene Daily Moisture Renewal Shampoo. I usually don't use this ex exact shampoo because I have a different one. I have a Tresemme and this is the conditioner and I have the shampoo for that but I left it back home and I'm at school right now so anyways yeah this is the conditioner that I use it's Tresemme Expert with shea butter and hibiscus I don't know I really like it it smells good and it wasn't too expensive I got it from Target and I have the shampoo again but not on me and then I have one of these combs this is from Conair you can get it from Target it's like a shower comb, it has wide teeth and it has like these things on the end so it doesn't like scratch your scalp. And I use this when I put my conditioner in. I just comb it out and I let my conditioner sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. And the other item that I use is literally just my hair tie. I put my hair in a little bun when I condition it. So I'm not gonna take you guys in there to wash my hair because I don't have good lighting in my bathroom. but basically it's pretty self-explanatory I wash my hair with the shampoo then I do that about twice because my hair is really oily and I feel like it just I don't know it just helps I, don't, I like it I feel like I get a deep clean so shampoo twice then I use my conditioner and I deep condition for 15 to 20 minutes or however long I'm doing other things for um, comb my hair out with the conditioner in it with this comb and put it up in a little bun then I rinse with cold water I just want to make a disclaimer I know that some people don't do the exact same procedure as me and that's fine I'm not saying that mine is right yours is wrong whatever but this is the way I do it and I like the way my hair comes out when I do it so I'm just gonna wash my hair and then I'll be right back basically this is what my hair looks like after I wash and condition it um, my curls, yeah, they're pretty chill. So, next I blow dry my hair. Here's my blow dryer. I just separate my hair straight down the middle. Some people do four sections, I don't. This is easy for me. Literally do what is best for you. And it doesn't have to be neat when you're separating it, right? Cause you're just blow drying and I just put this side in the little bun it's pretty handy to have on hand a brush sort of like this and a comb with a rat tail it just makes it easier to part your hair for when that time comes this I use to brush my hair out with when I'm blow drying so basically the technique that I'm using is I'm like starting by you know putting the blow dryer on my hair and then I am pulling my hair with my brush and catching it with the blow dryer so that it it's drying my hair and straightening it at the same time. And here is the other side just to show you a comparison of my hair wet and it's still curly and this side is dry. So there's the big difference. All done. This is my hair blow dry. Oh, and I know I forgot to mention this that heat is not um, a very 
popular or encouraged thing nowadays. Everyone's on their natural weave and I'm totally for that. I support it and I even wear my hair natural sometimes too. I don't put heat in my hair a lot. I'm not one of those people who do my hair every week even though I know I just said that I did it last week. Uh, I've just been feeling my hair straight lately and I don't straighten my hair that often so it's kind of okay, a little bit more admissible for me uh, to do that than if I was somebody who literally did my hair every, you know, a little bit more often. So yeah, I get a pass, I guess. Before I straighten my hair, I always add in some type of moisturizer. One that I've been using lately is this Moroccan oil. This is Argan oil. I got this from Morocco. Obviously, I know that everybody can't go to Morocco and get the same thing. So an alternative that's just as good for me is this Argan oil of Morocco. It's penetrating oil. You can get this at Target and it's cheap. It's just as good. You can get it from a hair store. You can get it from pretty much anywhere. So I like this too and this smells good. I'm just going to take a pump. I take like one or two pumps and I rub it between my hands like that and a trick that somebody taught me, a hairdresser taught me is to kind of go like this, like rub it around your hand so that when you put it in your hair it distributes evenly so I do that and I like the way it goes and I start in the back of my hair so that I'm not putting too much in the front and it's not like weighing down my hair. I have really oily hair, I try to control how much oil I put in my hair which is why I didn't put as much and why I do these techniques as well. If you have oily hair, this should help you. And I focus up on the ends because that's kind of like what needs the most love and care. Your ends are the oldest part of your hair if you think about it. Your hair grows from your scalp, so that's new growth. And your ends are the oldest parts of your hair, so I focus it there and bring it up. Run my fingers through. Kind of give myself like a little massage. So in order to straighten my hair, I just throw it up in a ponytail. And then we're going to start by straightening our hair in sections, small sections, just like that. I hope that you can see that. These are my flat irons. They're by Chi. They're the Chi Air line. And I take my flat irons and I focus it at the top where it's the most poofy at and then I just drag it down and that is my straight piece trust me it gets greater later just let me keep going you'll see also another thing I try not to keep going over my hair because that'll heat damage it too so I try to do two three tops runs but that's not even good so two two runs through and I literally repeat the same process throughout my entire head Alright, so I zoomed in just in case you need a closer look to see exactly what I'm doing. So Then I'll just fix my part. I always have those little fuzzies at the top. 
to skip the ends together. This is my hair straight. Um, it's very like bouncy. It has a lot of body. I can run my fingers through it. My edges are nice and straight. My widow's peak is straight. Everything just this is this is how I like my hair to be when I straighten it. It has just the amount of like volume. It's not super like super flat. Here's the length of my hair. Yeah, so this is the length of my hair with my back straight. That's how my hair looks. So I'm really happy that you stuck around to watch my video. I hope that everything turned out the same way, if not better, like I said. And I hope that you like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.